Okay, today I'm going to show you an easy way that I've found to strip cable and other types of wire. This is uh, some pretty large ground wire for a welder. You can sell this wire because it's expensive, you know, so you can sell it on the used market. But this one is, is starting to degrade. You can see the sheeting is, is cracking. scrap it out but I'll show you a couple tricks makes it easier to scrap this stuff out first off you're gonna have to strip back probably a foot or two of exposed wire off of both ends so you're gonna have to do this on both ends Plus you can see this stuff is, eh, it's probably still in decent usable shape, but we're just going to scrap it out. Alright, next you want to get some gloves on so you don't get stabbed with the copper shards. Now you can tie it, what I do is I tie it to one vehicle. I use two vehicles for this. You could use one vehicle, a tree, you know, anything you can really tie it to. So we're gonna tie it to that. Alright, this other end we're going to tie to the hitch ball here. Now the reason I strip it back is because it makes it easier when you go to cut it off. You can just cut it off, throw it right in your bin. You don't have to worry about stripping it, fighting with it. There we go. We can do two knots if we want. I don't think it's going to matter much. All right. Next step is we're going to pull it tight between the two vehicles. And when you do this, the best way I've found to do it is pull it tight and then pull the e-brake on your car. That way your car stays where it is and doesn't put all the pressure on the park pin in your transmission. First off, get your gloves on. Now, a lot of people would just, you know, try to cut this like this, 
you know hold it and cut it you can potentially cut yourself it's pretty dangerous the best way that i've found to do it you definitely want to have a sweater long sleeves or get yourself a towel to put over your arm okay you throw the towel over your arm you go under the cable flip your knife over and then pull okay go under now by going under the cable it lets it ride on your arm it gives you more stability helps you hold the cable still and it's also safer because you're not cutting towards yourself so if you slip off you know you've got less chance of cutting yourself Now you can also use this method for Romex, uh, any kind of hard cord wire. You see this is a braided wire, any kind of solid cord wire. You can also use this method. You pull it tight, and then what you would do is you would just slide down the edge of it and take a small piece of the sheeting off and then pull the rest off of it. It works really well when it's, when it's nice and tight. It really helps a lot to help you strip it. Now this cable is more of a rubber consistency, this, this heavy duty welding cable. You can't always do what I'm about to show you next with these cables. Most of the time you have to cut them because the sheeting is real hard, but this is pretty pliable. So sometimes you can take this type of wire after it's pulled taut and just pull it and it'll rip. This doesn't always work well, though.
as you can see the last little bit, bit just wants to slide so we'll go back to cutting it remember under the wire and pull back Well, there you go there's another easy way easiest way i've found to strip this big cable and other wire this this way is really nice because you can do full lengths you know if it's even if it's 100 feet long or whatever you can do it in one shot you don't have to keep Taking it, you know, cutting it into little pieces, you don't have to keep doing that. So it makes it go a lot faster. Well, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel and some of the other videos I have up there. We'll see y'all on the next one.